a little bit. I think it is. Yeah, mine's good. Ford tractor red. Huh. Just borrowing it. Huh. New bird's nest. Oh, that's he's gone. It was a robin. Nothing. I could hook it up too, I don't know. Nice. Got her greased. 
Got it in. Uh, let me just check these bolts. We gotta tighten those some more somehow. Yeah. Ah, uh, the breaker bar is right here. We left it here. Three quarter inch. Yep. So just give me that. Uh... Oh. Shoot, we're gonna have to move it to get those bottom two. I think, I mean, you guys can see if you see that, but I think it bottoms out against those stops, not the cylinder. Oh yeah, yep. What? It's good. How much? Oh, probably an inch. Oh, you got an inch? Yeah, yet? it's got a nice reveal. Oh, that's awesome. And that's up against that block. So again, if you guys remember when we rebuilt this, there's a big spacer right here, and we don't want that piston hitting that spacer. What we want is we want the fluid in here just kind of stopping it right and then it stops against those stops so by seeing that reveal we got there we're good you got the bolt does it for I think kind of the maintenance we need to either see if this tire is going to take some air or get someone out to fix it that's a bummer that happened after we move it um yeah, it's that all those years yeah it's, it's that for 15 years and the tire never lost any air and then we hit a nail on the way here apparently um but this never happens to us yeah. there's no leftover yeah. parts we used all the parts when's the last time that ever happened you know, the, the old stuff, they just simple, right? It's easy to work on. All right, so one day Bill's gonna tell the story of this. But if you look, see all that weld oh, on you can there? see his weld. So the drive shaft right here, the main, I think this is the main transmission drive shaft. I think so. Here's the engine. U-joint busted. We should probably get in there and grease these, actually. So the drive shaft busted and it hit, this is the steering pump. It's like one of those Vickers variable vein or variable displacement pumps, I believe. So what was it? They wanted like 1500 bucks or 2500 bucks uh, 2, for a used, for a used, for a used, for a used housing. Yeah. Not for the used pump. So Bill said, well. Well, when that came off, it, it hit that pump. And he it didn't shattered. Tell the story. It shattered in how many pieces? Uh, seven, seven pieces in the, or something? In the sand pit. <laughs> He got down on his hands and knees and he found every single piece. <laughs> in the oil and the sand. So then he said, well, he said to grandpa at the time, he said, well, let me try and at least weld it together. So that's what he did. Nickel rod, he heated up cherry red with the torch. He welded it all together and I'll be damned, it still looks pretty good today. Oh, that's yeah, can you, you can see some of the welds, yeah, that's, right? Yeah, there's the weld right there you can see. So I'm sure there's a bunch of them up there. My dad put a diesel engine in a golf cart. I haven't driven it.
so this thing has an extremely long wheelbase. We don't have any dirt to move right now, but we do have some trails that are pretty bumpy. Um, so we're gonna actually grade our, you know, kind of one of our main trails with this thing. Um, so basically what you do is you just leave this kind of in this position with the, you know, the belly open so we're not filling the belly. We'll actually bring that forward a little more. And you can kind of run the paddles. And like I said, because of the long wheelbase it has, it will kind of act like a road grader. Obviously not as good as a road grader, um, but it'll still do a pretty good job, so I'm told. I've never ran the thing before, but let's see. We got the the paddle on but we're getting kind of a washboard even though it does look all right um so you're thinking that middle knife is supposed to smooth it huh that back that well back if i don't uh on our old one it would that would drop down a little far if i don't uh it. if i don't turn the paddle on but i bring that knife forward more i'm not really worried about filling that up am i if the paddle's no, not on fill off. yeah I'm, so maybe i just need to turn the paddle turn off the paddle and bring off, it forward I'm a despondent that that back one doesn't drop down on, like that old one there, that, that back. Uh... Uh, we're gonna have to fire up the other earth mover.
Tesla. I don't know if we did anything, uh, but it's fun to run. It's quite a beast. It turns really wide. It's kind of hard in that trail, as you guys can probably see. Um, runs good, got it up to operating temperature. Gave it a little bit of a workout. Uh, we did kind of expose one other issue. This gearbox, I'm not sure if this is all filled with hydraulic fluid or what, um, but we're getting a little bit of leakage right there. There's a puddle of fluid. Um, so we'll have to look into that. We actually might have some work for this thing this fall. Um, so we want to make sure that we can run it without having issues. That's generally what you run into with old equipment like this. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, make sure you subscribe if you like the Wabco. Other than that, we'll talk to you next time.